Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Amanullah. You are watching my YouTube channel, Dr. Aman's video. Dear viewer, we will discuss the types of immune system. And we know that immune system is a defense mechanism in the body by which body can defend itself against the attack of foreign invader like bacteria, virus, fungi or any other foreign invader. For the better understanding of the immune system, we can divide immune system into two subsystems. One is innate immune system or natural immunity. The other is adaptive immune system or acquired immune system. Now come to the innate immune system. We all are born with innate immune system. In other words, you can say that all the components of the innate immune systems are present at birth in every person. So these component or the component of the immune systems include physical and chemical barrier, cellular component, protein and processes. So come to the first component physical and chemical barrier of the innate immune system. It includes skin and mucous membrane, acidic fluid like HCL in stomach or sebum fluid present on the skin which is secreted by the sebaceous gland, mucus which is present on the mucus lining of the gastrointestinal tract produced by the goblet cell and hair and cilia present in the upper respiratory tracts of the human being. So these all are the physical and chemical barrier of the innate immune system and we know that these all components are present at the birth. So what does it do? These physical and chemical barrier actually prevent the entry of foreign invader or microorganism inside the human body. So whenever if a foreign invader or a microorganism succeeded in crossing this physical and chemical barrier of the innate immune system, so they get inside the body. Now inside the body, the second component, which is the cellular component of the innate immune systems, they come forward and they try to fight to fight with the foreign invader, which has been successfully crossed the physical and chemical barrier of the innate immunity. Now, among cellular components, the most important components include neutrophil, macrophages, dendritic cells and natural killer cell. Again, these all components are present at birth. So what does they do? They actually recognize the foreign invader as a non-self by using the receptor called pattern recognition receptor. These pattern recognition receptors are present on these cellular component of the innate immunity and with the help of these cellular pattern recognition receptor, they recognize the molecular pattern on the surfaces of the foreign invader like bacteria, virus, fungi. So whenever they recognize these foreign invader as a known self or as a foreign invader, then what they do, these cells get activated. And after activation, they activate the proteins which are present in the serum of the human being. So among these proteins, the two proteins are very important. One is the complement protein. We know that complement protein is a series of different proteins and when they activate it, so they further augment the attack of the immune system and they try to kill the foreign invader. Interferon is the second important proteins which are secreted by these activated cell in order to interfere with the multiplication of microorganism, particularly viruses. In addition to these protein component, these cellular component also perform cellular processes which include inflammation and phagocytosis. As we know that neutrophil macrophages and dendritic cells are phagocytic in nature. So when they recognize foreign invader as a non-self, they try to engulf it and try to phagocytose or kill it. So this is the one process. In addition to phagocytosis, 
these activated cells also secrete substances which initiate inflammatory response at the site of infection in order to attract different in molecule or cells in order to attack or to combat the attack of the foreign invader. So, this is the, these are the component of the innate immunity and in my previous lecture I have told you that these four components combinedly form the first and second line of the defense. Now, one more thing I would like to tell you that macrophages and dendritic cells as I told you that these are the phagocytic cells. So, they perform phagocytosis. During phagocytosis what they do? They engulf the foreign integer and they break it into smaller particle. Furthermore, what they do? They present the antigen of the foreign invader on their surface in association with MHC class 2 protein. What is the importance or significance of this presentation of antigen on their surface? It will be correlated with adaptive immunity later in my lecture. But it is very, very important. So those cells which has the ability to present the antigens of the foreign invader on their surface with association with MHC class 2 proteins are called antigen presenting cell APCs. So macrophages, dendritic and B cell, B lymphocyte, these three are antigen presenting cell. They recognize the foreign antigen, they engulf and phagocytose the foreign antigen and then they present a part of the foreign antigen on their surface for further process which will be explained later in my lecture. The important function of the innate immunity include first they try to prevent the entry of the foreign invader into the human host through physical and chemical barrier. Then if it enter into the body they try to kill or retard the growth of the foreign invader by using these component and finally they try to activate the adaptive immune system which will be described later. Now, come to the adaptive immunity. Adaptive immunity is developed after exposure to the microorganism. It means that the effector molecule of the adaptive immunity are not present at birth. Like for example, the effector molecule of the innate immunity, effector molecules are actually those molecules through which innate immunity or immune system provide its effect on the foreign invader like physical and chemical barrier, like cellular component, protein and inflammation, phagocytosis, these all are the effector molecule or the effector processes. So the effector molecules are present at birth in case of innate immunity. But in case of adaptive immunity, the effector molecule which will be described later are not present at birth, they develop after exposure to a foreign antigen or microorganisms. Secondly, they are very specific in action. It means that the effector molecules, uh, as, I, uh, as we know that antibodies and cytotoxic T cells, these are the effector molecule of adaptive immunity. From where does it come? We will discuss later. But they are very specific in nature. It means that if an antibody is produced against COVID-19 virus, so this antibody only and only react with this virus and it will not react with any other microorganism because it is very specific in action. And secondly, these antibody will be developed after exposure with COVID-19. It is not the case that the antibodies will be present at birth, no. Antibodies always produced after exposure with a particular antigen. So adaptive immune system is developed after exposure. It is very specific in action and third, it develop memory for the subsequent exposure to that antigen. It means that whenever foreign antigen comes into the body and it is encountered with the immune system. So specific immunity, sorry, adaptive immunity 
take picture of that antigen and keep into the memory. So whenever uh, this immune, this antigen come in the future again inside the body, so the immune system do not process it, rather it take memory cells and order the memory cells to produce effector molecule against this antigen on its subsequent exposure. So this is the memory. Memory is absent here and it does not develop after exposure. It is present at birth and there is no memory in all the component of the innate immunity. Come to the point again. So what are the component of the adaptive immunity or acquired immunity? So the component of the adaptive immunity include lymphocyte. As we know that there are two types of lymphocyte, T lymphocyte and B lymphocyte. And further we know that there are two subpopulations of T lymphocyte. One is T helper cells which carry CD4 antigen. So they are also called CD4 positive T lymphocyte. And the second subpopulation is the cytotoxic T lymphocytes which carry CD8 antigen. Therefore, they are known as CD8 positive lymphocyte. So the story begin with the T helper cells. What does it do? As I told you that during innate immune response, the phagocytic cells, some of the phagocytic cells, which are also antigen presenting cells, they present the antigen on their surface with the association of MHC class 2 protein. So when innate immunity is not able to kill the microorganism or the foreign invader, so what does happen? This helper T cells come forward and it recognize this antigen presented on the surface of the antigen presenting cells. With the, the helper T cell or CD4 positive T cell use a receptor which is known as T cell receptor and with the help of this T cell receptor, this helper T cell recognize this antigen. So when it recognizes this antigen, so the helper T cells activate it. What happened? The helper T cell activated and it secrete cytokines. Furthermore, these cytokines activate the B lymphocyte and cytotoxic T lymphocytes. So when it activate B lymphocytes, so the B cell, lympho, the B lymphocyte after activation differentiated into plasma cell and plasma cells produced antibodies which are specific to this antigen which has elicit this response. Secondly, these cytokines also activate the cytotoxic T cells. So when cytotoxic T cells activated, so these cytotoxic T cells search for the infected cells with this antigen or with this microorganism and it try to kill those infected cells or those damaged cells. So the overall function of the adoptive immunity is to neutralize or destroy the foreign invader by using antibody because antibody can neutralize viruses if the foreign invader is virus or toxin if the foreign invader is toxin or it can destroy the other foreign invader, invader by attaching with the foreign invader and forming an antigen immune complex. So this antigen immune complex also activate complement and complement comes in order to kill the foreign invader like bacteria, virus or fungi. So they neutralize or destroy the foreign antigen, they activate the complement and they kill the infected or damaged cell. As I told you that cytotoxic T cells kill the infected or damaged cell because those infected or damaged cells create signal on their surface and those signals are recognized by the cytotoxic T cell. So this is all about the innate immunity and adaptive immunity. But you must know that necrophages, dendritic cells and B cells, these are the three component or these are the three cellular components 
which is also the part of innate immunity because initially they recognize the foreign antigen and phagocytose it and present the part of that foreign invader on their surface and they are also the part of the adoptive immunity because they present the antigen and these antigens are recognized by T cell receptor so they activate the adaptive immunity. So this is the central part which, which is also the part of adaptive immunity and innate immunity and this is the, the basics of the immune system because immune, innate immune system actually recognize the non-self antigen and it direct the adaptive immune system for further activation. So I hope that you would find this video beneficial and useful for yourself. If it is the case, then of course we would request you for the subscription of my YouTube channel Dr. Aman's video and also try to hit bell icon in order to get notification for my upcoming video. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. Fee Amanillah.